Okay, we're going to take a look at photosynthesis and the atmosphere. You should already know a little bit about photosynthesis, what the process is. At standard level, you don't have to go in so much detail. In higher level, you have to know this in a lot of detail. But either way, you understand that carbon dioxide is taken in by plants. It goes through this process of photosynthesis and glucose is made and turned into starch and other types of organic substances. In the process, oxygen is given off. So that's what we're going to try to focus on here is that oxygen as a waste product of photosynthesis and what the consequences of this have been for life here on earth and me and my life as well too. So photolysis is the splitting of water and when water gets split it turns into oxygen and hydrogen. Uh, the oxygen immediately comes off as a waste product and that's what we're going to be talking about here. The hydrogen splits up into protons and electrons and both of those things are used extensively in photosynthesis and in the detailed processes. So uh, make sure you understand that to the level that you need to. So first off, photosynthesis, maybe the first bacteria 3.5 billion years ago were the first ones to help introduce oxygen into the atmosphere. So before that, there was no oxygen in the atmosphere. Early Earth had no oxygen, a very unhappy environment for us oxygen-loving organisms. So the first oxygen was probably introduced around that time up until about 2.3 billion years ago, maybe the oxygen percent rose up to uh, a measly 2%. So remember this, so far in this early earth environment, oxygen is a waste product. So it's kind of not used by anything. So some of that oxygen actually turned into iron oxide by combining with dissolved iron that was in the ocean. And so you get these deposits of rock uh, at the bottom of the ocean. They're called banded iron formations. So it's one of the early places that oxygen first showed up in uh, billions of years ago basically and then we get to about 750 million years ago and then the oxygen levels through lots of the extra probably uh, algae formed and other types of plant life uh, oxygen levels really shot up to 30 percent uh, which would be poisonous for us poisonous for us right now at those kinds of concentrations uh, we're pretty happy around you know 18 to 20% maximum, more around 16, 17, 18%. Uh, those are the types of oxygen percentages that we like. So they really shot up and then they came back down closer to what levels are nowadays. And that extra oxygen probably came from, as I mentioned, extra photosynthesis from multicellular algae and land plants. Most of the oxygen that, that we are um, experiencing these days actually comes from photosynthesis that's happening in the ocean, not so much uh, land plants and trees. But by far, I think it's over 70 or 80% of the oxygen that we're actually breathing comes from photosynthesizing organisms in the ocean. So there you go, a little bit of knowledge to help you connect photosynthesis and its effects on the actual atmosphere.